Welcome back everyone, I am Zadie and this is Kerbal Space Program, and today we're continuing our mission to expand our knowledge of the universe and to understand life and, what, how's it go? Understand the meaning of life and everything. I'm going to have to look that quote up because I really like it and I, I butcher it all the time. I, uh, for, the, for those of you who don't know, it's that's the answer is 42. The um, answer to the meaning of life, everything in the universe, I think is the quote. And the answer is 42. Um, yeah. So we're going to roll out our sat. Uh, we're going to give it a go, try and get it into a polar orbit, pretty high polar orbit, to try and complete this um, this mission right here, which then we'll, uh, we'll shoot for the moon. Try to get some science around from the moon. Delete on close, close. And let's go ahead and launch this bad boy. And cat going ape shit in the background. That's always a good thing. Come on, load me up, baby. Load me up. We did download a couple more uh, mods that we're going to uh, we're going to uh, have for us in the future. Uh, just not right now. Uh, one of them being uh, Kerbal Attachment System, and the other one being Science X, this right here, which will be able to... So when we get to a certain point, we can be like, okay, seriously, we haven't gotten, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it'll just uh, help us out some. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that up. We do have a thermometer. That is good. That is very good. Uh, let's go ahead and we have our HUD up right there. We've got our... right. So we need to go into a polar orbit. Let's go ahead and kill our engines. Go ahead and launch this bad boy. Now, since this polar orbit orbit is super fucking steep, we are going to be going super fucking steep on our approach. So probably won't roll over as much in the very beginning as we normally do, because I'm gonna try and get as much altitude as possible. We do have the Delta V to do this. I I, I have faith. I have faith in my design. I shouldn't. My design has ruined us on several occasions, but uh, barring any any uh, unexplained detonations of the uh, rocket boosters on the side there, we should be okay to uh, to get to polar orbit just fine. Ah, and it went went beautifully, just as we had planned. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of a turn going right here. A little bit more of a turn. There we go. We don't I mean we don't want to be going straight up. We want to. Uh, we want to. We want to have some time between our Apple Lab. Uh, you know, to our. Do we get to our Apple Labs, basically? So, this bad boy's going up in a pretty decent orbit. Or pretty decent per trajectory, not orbit. It's not in orbit until it gets into the app out of the atmosphere. I don't know why I went kind of... That was like a weird, like, retard German science scientist. I don't know. Either way, we're trying to take this bad boy up near. Why Why am I keeping you with me? I should just go ahead and cut here, shouldn't I? Well, you know what? Um, ooh. Our orbit, uh, our trajectory is off quite a little bit, actually. See if we can't correct this a little. Yeah, that's way off. We are now getting up into where we're in orbit. How are we doing on fuel and everything? We are doing magnificent. However, that uh, that orbit is not going to do it. We've got to got to make some changes. Where are we at height wise? We are at eighty. How are we doing? Oh nope, didn't want to do that. Want to do that? How are we doing? Uh, stage, 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 stage. There's a way to see it per stage. No, I don't want to alarm. Fuck it. Ooh, we are going the wrong damn direction. Okay. Let's point our rocket this direction then. Yeah, we, we got way off course. We should be coming close to the end of our first um, stage. Or, you know, first main stage. As soon as that stops moving, I'm just gonna. All right. Cool beans. So 
to what our material study gets us. Eh. Go ahead and recycle that. Uh, I'm a little... I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried. We did burn a lot of extra fuel in the wrong damn direction. Which, it worries me. It bothers me just a little bit. I think we can still do this. We've almost got it corrected, which is good. Music is so peaceful. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Narrowing that down, that's good. Alright, let's let's focus on this for right now. Let's get this as high as possible. Clearly able to make it into orbit. Clearly. Uh let's start pushing this thing out maybe a little bit instead of going up, maybe going out. That would help save on fuel, possibly? I don't know. I am not a rocket scientist by any stretch of the means. Any means is a stretch. Any. whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Regardless, I do not want to get this thing in orbit if it can't make it out that far. I want it to come back in and burn up in the atmosphere, which is kind of what we're doing right now. We are just burning our ass off to get up there. But once we do get up there, it's going to be very easy for us to maneuver around because. You get that far out, man. It does not take that much to uh, to change your trajectory uh, out there. So we are approaching it rapidly now. Almost too fast. It's, uh, what's the Apple Apps 13? Let's get you up here as close as possible. That's going to be good enough. slightly off. I think that's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's plot a uh, maneuver node. See how much time we're going to have to burn to fill this bad boy out. That looks to be almost where we need it. Maybe a little bit off there. Uh, there we go. We're going to need to burn for estimated burn of 17 seconds. We have got this, people. We are going to nail this. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and point towards our uh, wonderful little maneuver node. Scooch on down there. Come on. There you go. See? wasn't That wasn't that hard, was it? Get it on the dot and step, step. Okay. So we're going to, uh... We're going to warp to maneuver node. This is actually... I'm, I'm impressed with the design of this rocket. It has been quite, um... Good for us. Good to us. go. We're going to have to make a couple of changes here and there. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Oh, you can tell we're definitely over the pole. Yeah, warp two. Go ahead. Three minutes is fine. Take a sip of my drink. I mean, hell, we're only talking a 17 second burn at full power. We definitely have that. So, I mean, you know, it's not going to be not going to be too bad. This is just a funky orbit. Polar orbits tend to be a little funky. Let's go ahead and speed up time just a, t a tidbit. I don't know what that was, but. I don't want to blow past it. Uh, okay. 
I guess that was something to do with the, uh, the, uh, the, the physics being, like, all janky. <clears throat> so we got a 17 second burn. We have 35 seconds worth of fuel. We're going to be fine. Perfectly fine. Fine, fine. Perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and start slowing our burn down a little bit. Let's uh, maneuver just a tidbit. We are in the green, which is good. Maintain stable orbit for 10 seconds. Wait for it. Bam! And how? Wow. Nicely done. Nicely done. I am very impressed with myself. I am patting myself on the back because that is 86,000 credits that we desperately need. Now, we're going to sit here and just stare at this thing. Probably going to point it to where it's uh, going to have direct sun contact all the time. There we go. That way, if we ever need to come back to it, we can. However, for that flight, it is now over. We are done with you. Let's go to the Space Center. Let's figure out our next move. We definitely want to go to the moon. Oh. But do we want to send a satellite to the moon, or do we want to send humans? We have yet to have our first human flight in Kerbin. Uh, 225. Okay, that's not going to work then. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go over here. Let's see what we can do. Conduct temperature surveys of Kerbin. Conduct temperature surveys of the moon. Uh, haul something. Not worth it. Position a satellite in a specific orbit over Kerbin. Completion is really good. We have a very good base for that. Let's go and accept that one. Uh, position ZDDR, Moon Mach 1, in an adjusted orbit of Kerbin. I don't know if that one's got fuel. It's not worth... Well, I mean, I guess we could look at it for free, almost, but it's not... We'll come back to you, okay? Uh, just temperature surveys of the moon, uh, polar orbit of Minimus. Okay, that is something we definitely want to do, but we don't want to take yet, because we don't want to uh, risk not being able to get there in the time frame. Rendezvous with two of our uh, vessels in orbit. We do not have stuff for that yet, nor have we even attempted, which we'd be able to do, but, I mean, 49,000 credits is nice. Um, skip picture out of the moon, don't care, I'm not doing that, I hate those. God damn, I want to do this one. Alright, let's, uh, let's back out, let's reevaluate, okay. We can put this bad boy up there, fairly easy. Let's see what the, um, the uh, trajectory is that it wants us to put it in. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's wanting me to move this one. This one is out of fuel. So, we need to... Uh... Terminate? Does that work? This will destroy the vessel, killing all crew in it. Terminate. Oh, nice. Okay, I didn't even know we could do that. Uh, you are also out of fuel. Let's go ahead and terminate you. You two are not out of fuel. I'm going to leave you out there. You could possibly get maneuvered. So, we're going to leave that as is for right now. But we can put, we can do this orbit. It's almost the same orbit as, like, the moon. God damn. Wanting us to go out there. No problem. We can do it. We can do it fairly easy without breaking a sweat. 
I say we do that, get the money from it, use that to upgrade our science facility. Actually, we could do it now. How much does that rocket cost us? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a little bit risky. We could do it. Doom, doom, doom. You are a twenty thousand dollar rocket. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this. We're gonna build another one of these bad boys. Build. All right. Exit out of that. Let's warp ahead. Science, motherfuckers. How are we doing science wise? By the way, how much science we got? We have forty seven science. Can we buy anything with forty seven science? I think we need forty. Oh, we can. Ooh. I sounded like someone else I watch on. That was just scary. Okay. So. <clears throat> oh. God, that freaking. Something got caught in my throat. It was not a penis. I mean, what? What do we need? What do we, I, I, I set out, out on a path earlier. We could definitely use this. Flight controls. Because it gives us uh, our first RCS port. We don't really need that. We could definitely use this stuff. More rocket pieces. We could also use the fuel. Just kind of pathing out our path over here. Of course, I know we did say we wanted to get some of this stuff, too. But these are 90s. We should probably get through... Let's go ahead and research that, the control. I think it's going to be really helpful for us. And we should be able to... By the time this gets done, the research should be done, too. Uh, I, I should be talking. God, why did I stop? I just stopped all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, the research is getting done right now. I was thinking of epilepsy for some reason. All right, work to completion. Go ahead and delete you. And 100%, yes. Okay. Delete. Go ahead and roll this bad boy out. Warp to completion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're coming out right about now. Let's go ahead and we can delete you. Let's fast forward until daylight, at least. I like to launch around noonish, you know, just to make it to where it's nice and visible. We have 21,000. If we do this, we're going to be sitting pretty because we definitely need to upgrade our building. That is holding us back. I mean, it's it's a it's a oh, oh God, just punched the mic right in the face. Fuck you, Mike. God damn it. Um, Mike as in microphone, not Mike as in my brother. Okay. This is not a polar orbit. It is actually a little bit of an oblong orbit. So we're probably just going to... It's more like a minimus orbit, to be honest with you. We're probably just going to adjust our orbit once we get out into space. I'm going to go ahead and launch it to an equatorial orbit. And we'll go from there. You guys have seen me launch this same set of equipment now several times. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out until we get into space. Those look like little boobs. I'm sorry, they do. Getting close. Getting closer. Almost there. Go ahead and slow us down a little bit. A little bit more. And Yahtzee. Almost Yahtzee. 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 Yahtzee! Alright. So what we're going to have to do with this one 
is we're going to make our orbit circular. Apparently adjusting for little things here and there. Wrong direction. I guess this is not a perfectly circular orbit? Maybe? I don't know. A little weird. Alright. That bad boy out there. Uh, knock a little bit off. We got plenty of time before our maneuver node, so, you know. What? What is going on with this orbit? There we go. <clears throat> we will figure this out. We we'll never give up. Never surrender. I think it has to do with because of that. So probably has to do a little bit with my angle too. To be honest with you. Let's go ahead and get. Her. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. We're gonna go with that. All right, and then we can just adjust it from there. So let's go ahead and warp to our maneuver node. Uh, probably should stop warping and get our, our, you know, craft in position. Not smart move. Then where do we intersect? We actually intersect it here. We should have set that up right then. But me so smart. Me didn't do that. Okay, let's see if I can do this real quick. Why are we past our... Oh, it went past our maneuver node. God damn it. Well, I mean, we're not fucked or anything. It's just it's an, it's an inconvenience. I should have zoomed in and made sure I wasn't on app laps. That's, that's uh, you know, bonehead move. Bonehead move. So we're already past our, we got to burn, circularize our orbit, and then we'll deal with the consequences afterwards. At least we know we're not going to, at least we know we've got enough to, to do this, and to also, you know, we go getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is over here where we intersect. Because this is just so freaking easy to do. There we go. Nope, wrong way. So where is it? Where is it? I see your apple apps and our peri apps, but I don't see. Oh, because we're not in a target. How do we? How do we target that? Can we target that? I don't know. Oh dear God! What is going on? Stop! All right, let's focus on Kerbin. Make this a little bit easier. We're roughly the shape, uh, roughly the area we need to be, sort of. It's a uh, wiggle that around a little bit. Wiggle that around a little bit. What does that? What does that look like? Looks a lot better. Alright, so let's warp to our... What is going on?
Something uh, down on the surface must have completed. Okay. So now that we're three minutes behind our maneuver node instead of Apolapse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Good God, game. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. So if we stick with the maneuver now, we should be okay. We still got plenty of fuel. As a matter of fact, the fuel on this thing's probably a little overkill. Where does that set us? Ah, good. We are green. It is over. We have done it. Yes. Yes. Again, I don't know what's with the noises today. What's with my voice while I'm doing these crazy things, but I'm just fucking killing it. Killing it, baby. All right. Another successful satellite in orbit. You're doing good with these. That is a solid build. Not gonna lie, I, I like that. Uh, I like that satellite design. Um, throwing this out there to you guys, since this is one of my more popular series, uh, where people actually watch it. You know, it's not like it goes up for you know two days and has two views. Like this thing actually has like twenty or thirty views, so people are actually kind of watching it on a regular basis, which is really awesome. I love it. I would like to hear more feedback from you guys. How um, that being said. What I'm going to do is, first of all, before I go on my rant even further, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Well, what I want to do is start naming these rockets. And I want to name them after my viewers. Or, you know, get names from... Excuse me. Get names from my viewers to uh, to put on there. So you can, instead of saying ZDR Sat Mark, Mark II, you know, like, actually name it. So it'll still be ZDDR for... Zadian Death Drone Rocket, which that's just going to be like, you know, anything. And then it'll be whatever, Mark, whatever. So for the rest of the time, I mean, this is going to be the platform that we use to launch satellites into space. So this, like, this this aircraft, this, this rocket is going to be with us for the remainder of the series. Just different iterations of it. So, um, you know, yeah, throw your names out there. Throw a name out there. The first name I see on there, we'll get, we'll get the, uh, the satellite. Just, just tossing that out there. Of course, you know, this episode's not going to air until, like, um, I believe February. So, uh, and it's currently January. But, yeah, throw your names out there. We'll start naming rockets after them. After your names. Okay. So, now that we've upgraded, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and warp to completion. The vehicle simply by being updated. Total of 19 days, not bad. Again, if you have epilepsy, do not watch me fast forward. You will go into a coma. Or have a seizure. Not, not go into a coma, you know what I mean. All right, now that you're updated, dun da da da, lovely. We can now build bigger. Max part support is 225. Um, yeah. And then the the next one's unlimited. But yeah, so we got two, 225 parts we can work with now. That is amazing. That's amazing. We're going to be able to build some really cool shit now. Um, that's not limited. And then this is actually going to be our limiting factor is the uh, vessel size. So that's cool. Let's go see if we can't pick up another mission real quick. Uh, get some more capital. We are running a little low on funds. Which is okay. Uh, however, you know, we want to kind of get some money in there. So let's see. Uh, temperature surveys of the moon. No. Hall. No. Position ZDR Mike 2 in an adjusted orbit over Kerbin. How much are they going to offer me to do that? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 17,000. Eh. 
Orbit the fucking moon. I'm down with that. Uh, oh god, I got the hiccups. A terrible time to get the hiccups is when you're recording video. Okay. So, our missions are orbit the moon and gather science data from around the moon. Alright. Now comes the question. Do we, A, send a Kerbin to the moon, or B, send it as a satellite? I don't know. Let's take a look at our, uh, our rocket parts and see what we've got going on. There is a lot of chance for survivability for one person to go to the moon and come back. Um, especially since we do have a moon variant that we know we can do a flyby around the moon. And uh, so let's go ahead and load that up. What's our moon variant, variant look like? Let's see. We've got high orbit. Moon, moon Mach 2. Uh, this one's going to be the the one. Okay. It's basically the same platform we were on. Uh, you know, but with, with things on it. Let's go ahead and... Where are our... Subassemblies. Oh, I just did that on accident. Hold on. Uh, don't save. Let's get uh, this one back up. Load. Okay. So basically, from what I can tell, it's pretty much the same setup as our other one. Because it's got the little poodle engine and everything. So we're going to drag this bad boy into the sub-assemblies. And do light lifter. Uh, light lifter. Save that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put you back on there. Close that. So this is our bigger. Our we got these two probes that we can use. Or we've got the capsule we can use. Mmm, this is a tough decision, y'all. This is a tough decision. What do we do? Do we send a human or a, a carbon? Or do we send a satellite and then if concept proves good, we, then we do it. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to... Uh, We want to uh, let's go ahead and ditch this stuff. Let's get this one going. Scale it up. Okay. Let's. Uh, we need some stability control on this bad boy. That'll help. We need. We'll, we'll put a heat shield on it because this thing's coming back. We want it to come back. Let's put a science junior on the bottom of it, along with a cargo bay. Cargo bay. God damn it! What did, where's that thing at? It's under utility, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Put our cargo bay on it. Go ahead and open that bad boy up. Uh, science. Let's go ahead and put two of these on there. there go. Uh, we need one barometer. We need 
one of you. There we go. That way you can see our our shit. Uh, we don't need the accelerometer. Let's go ahead and throw a thermometer on there as well, just in case. We'll actually put the thermometer. We'll put it over here. We'll put it on the back of the science junior so we can actually see the damn thing. As a matter of fact, we're going to put uh, this on there as well. Right there. Right next to each other. Beautiful. All right. So that's our setup. We need a antenna. Put one antenna on it. Uh, we need uh, it's under utility. We need batteries. Battery. Let's go and put the battery on top. Let's go ahead and put solar panels on the sides right here. We'll do four. That way we've got every angle. Should we do, I mean it costs more, it's just more parts, we don't need that. Stop it. Actually, we do have, uh, where is it? Got this bad boy, the dish. Put the dish on there. See? The dish. I, I don't know. Okay. So let's, uh, let's uh, discount, double check all we got. So we have... We want it to come back, if possible. Let's put some parachutes on that bad boy. Because I would like to bring all this science back, if, if at all possible. This is going to be in a cone, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and close this cargo bay. Uh, so we have power. We have... Solar panels, we got parachutes, we got communication device, we've got uh, both sciences that we have uh, thermometer, barometer. Uh, damn, y'all, can y'all think of anything else I need? I can't. Seems to be pretty rock solid to me. Let's go ahead and put a thermal shield on this bad boy, a heat shield. There we go. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and put a. What you calls it on it? Sebatron. Blam Co. And over that we will put the shield, which is under here. By the way, squad, best addition to this game is this. Instead of having to rely on mods, Jesus. So huge. That's what she said. Fucking beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and do the bottom portion. Uh, sub assemblies. Light lifter. Really don't need that because it's uh, moved up here. So let's get our staging correct. So also get this off the ground and close that. Let's go to this and add two of these. Okay. As a matter of fact, we're gonna do a design change. Move those there. So that way they're not as tempted to come back and hit our spacecraft. All right, so we got that, we got that, we got that. All right, let's do our staging real quick. We've got our parachutes. 
Got our Sevatron up there, which is good that that's all the way up there. Fairing right there, along with this engine after that separation. These two separate after uh, burnout of these. So once the, those all ignite at once, so there's that. So we want ignite, release, when they burn out, boom. Then we've got separate, ignite, blow fairing, separate when we come back, parachutes to deploy. Beautiful. If I say so myself. I think this is going to be a very vi um, viable option to, uh, to do all this. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to start us out. We're going to name this the ZDR Tour Solo. No. No. We're going to leave it right now with the Moon Mark III. Yeah. Okay. We're going to name it ZDR M Moon T O R O Solo. Tour Solo Mach 3. All right. Looks pretty good. So that's uh, that's gonna take us to the moon and back, hopefully. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, um, I guess we should probably simulate it, but uh, it's a proven base, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and build this bad boy. Throw caution to the wind. Fuck it. Uh, all right. That being said, that's gonna be the end of our episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. As always, appreciate a like, a favorite, subscription, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that good stuff. Um. Feel free to leave comments down below. I do read them. I do respond to them. As a matter of fact, I prefer that you leave comments. I, uh, uh, again, like to interact with my audience. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's best to stay in touch with what's going on in my life in the series. Other than that, guys, it was a great episode. We got a lot accomplished. I enjoyed it. We'll see you next time for more Kerbal Space Program.